Hello there. Today I'll be making a video about how to do basic unit tests in Java. So I'm going to assume you're using the IntelliJ IDE. In order to make unit tests, this is fairly simple. So the first thing you want to do is you head over to your class. So now I'm going to be doing some very simple unit tests with the coordinate class. So what you have to do is um, very simply press Command Shift T. And after you have it highlighted on coordinate, it will ask you to choose test for a coordinate. You'll probably have zero found. So let's head over to create new test. And you can choose the testing library. So I'll be using JUnit3 for this example, but you can use JUnit4. The only difference is that JUnit4 has slightly different commands, but you can easily find the methods for that. So I'm going to use JUnit3. Class name will be coordinate test. It automatically creates this for me. And super class, I press OK. And now it creates the um, testing class. So everything is auto automatically generated. Uh, and it automatically created the different methods for me. So let's start by doing a very simple test. So coordinate is basically an encapsulation in my program. So I'm first going to try to make a, a co actual coordinate. So I'm going to create my own coordinate called a co a C test or something equals new coordinate. Now I can make a coordinate. So first I create my own testing variable. You can see here, coordinate accepts parameters x, y. And I'm going to test to see how the get x function works. So you can find your test inside here if you head over to project files. You'll notice that you have a source. Pro source. Inside here you have a main. And you also have a test. So let's head over here. So in our get x, we want to make sure that if we get the x, it maintains consistent. So I'm going to take the get the test get x method. I'm going to do an assert equals. And I'm going to head over to my C test I'll get x. And I want to ensure myself that the value is 3 when this happens. So let's just run over here and run this. Run all. And we can see here process is finished. And automatically it runs all the tests. So I have 10 tests pass in approximately 9 milliseconds. If we head over to coordinate test, we see here, we have our get x, we have our get y, and our different tests. And it says that they all passed. It says OK. If we change this to like a 2, and we run this, we will see it shows up as red. And it says the expected and actual value. So we can see here the difference that it makes. And there's a lot of different commands you can do with this. You can do stuff such as assert not null. Um, you can see what autocomplete has for us. So basically a bunch of overloaded methods. We can have assert same, assert true, assert not null, assert false. There's a lot of different options for you to choose from. This basically ensures that your code has a certain amount of um, quality assurance. So when you're changing code, you use your methods to see if it is actually working. And a really neat thing is actually testing with coverage. So here we have all of my different classes, and we can see the test testing covers that my classes have. So I recently worked on coordinate, right? So we can see here the number of classes in that file. There's one class in that file. We have 0% uh, coverage, 0, 0, 0. So in order to update this, you'd actually head over to um, to run, and we have run all in Cardinal Map Simplifier with coverage. And with coverage, we'll essentially analyze how much your tests impact um, everything. So we can head over to coordinate. So we're impacting all the classes inside coordinate. There is, in fact, only one class. Um, besides that, we also have uh, f impacting 40% of the methods. So we're targeting the class constructor, and we're also targeting the getX method, and also 41% of the total line count in coordinate. So yeah, this is pretty nice to see an overview. We have 12% uh, of classes and 5% of lines covered in uh, throughout these tests. So very little test suite, but preferably you expand. But this is a very basic tutorial on how to get started. If you ever have problems using JUnit, I suggest um, heading over and figuring out how JUnit works in terms of importing with Maven. Uh, IntelliJ often uses Maven as its build system. So you can look to see if JUnit is imported or if uh, org hamcrest is imported. Similarly, you can head over here, down over here. We have the terminal. And you can actually do a command 
MVN test, and it will automatically run Maven on it, and it will also do the test for you. And it will tell you if the build succeeds or build fails. So that's something that's really useful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I learned a lot, and um, thanks for watching this tutorial. hope you guys found it interesting, and uh, be sure to like my videos and subscribe for more content. Bye-bye.